What's up guys, I'm going to talk to you about what I think is the best kayak if you're planning to hit the river this spring or summer. So the Sportsman 106 and specifically for this video the Sportsman 120 are great kayaks for, for any situation. The Sportsman 120 is what I am choosing to hit the river this spring in northwest Arkansas. Due to tournaments all over the place the last couple of years, I've kind of neglected floating the river, but this year I got a, a new Sportsman 120 that I'm excited to get up here on some of these rivers and streams and paddle it around and enjoy the, the beautiful rivers we have up here in the Ozarks. All right, so before the walkthrough, just a few highlights. Number one, the, the Sportsman 106 and 120 are some of the most stable paddling kayaks you will ever come across, um, but still nimble enough to navigate small streams or rivers or if you're paddling on flat water in a lake. But the 120 is extremely stable, even for a big guy like me, uh, 6'3", with, with long, gangly legs. I'm not exactly the most stable dude standing on anything, but standing on this boat, I feel very comfortable standing up to fish, and it's still maneuverable enough to, to get around these small creeks and streams up here. So let's get through the, the walkthrough, and I'll show you some of the features on the boat. All right, we're going to start up here in the front. you got a drain plug on top, so there's no chance of this coming off and any water leaking in the back. So we've got a solid handle up front to be able to lift, portage, drag, whatever you're going to have to do. And on the handle you're going to see I've got a strap and what that is, a dog leash with a handle from a weightlifting set or actually it's some resistance bands. If you're fishing the river you're going to have to drag sometimes and that just makes it easier to be able to drag uh, through some shallow areas with that, that uh, drag strap. Hatch you're kind of used to if you're familiar with the old towns but it's just bungeed on there. Plenty of room inside the hall to store some things for a day trip or overnight trip. What I like about these and all the Old Town hatches is that raised lip with the rubber gasket underneath in the lid that prevents water from splashing up in here if you're taking some uh, some rough waves if you're going down a, a fast current area and you dip the nose a little bit water's just going to run off and shed into the scuppers. Right here is a transducer scupper. I'm not going to put any electronics on this one because I'm trying to keep it pretty simple uh, but if you did mount a transducer you could, you could Put it underneath there, run the wires up through, and mount your electronics over on the side, on the slide tracks. Alright, this comes standard with a stand assist strap if you want to use that with the seat, but I don't really need that because I can use the drag strap that I installed to, to do that, but I think I can stand up on my own without that, so I may just take that off. You see on both sides, they get adjustable foot pegs. We can foot, rest your feet. You can actually retrofit this with a rudder. I'm not going to use that because I'm just floating small streams and the small rivers up here in the Ozarks with it. But if you wanted to put a rudder on, it'll adapt. And this will also give you foot control steering. Open deck here with uh, four scuppers in the floor. You see it's got some deck padding to keep you, so you have some grip if you're standing up barefoot or flip flops or whatever. And also just to keep the noise down. Old town seat that you're probably used to. And then we've got high low options here quickly move the seat from one position to the other. I've got it in a high position. I think that'll be where it is the most of the time, but you can easily just unclip it and pull it down to the low position. Slide track on both sides to be able to mount any slide track accessories. I've got a paddle clip in the slide track from Yak Gadget. That just holds my net. One of my favorite accessories on all my kayak is the Yak Gear Yak Sack. It just unclips right here and goes from one boat to the other. And all it does is hold some a few soft plastics, uh, my pliers, scissors, uh, reading glasses, essentials for me, uh, and any other accessories you want to put in there. There's room under the seat where you can store some things. I've just got a box with some additional tools, uh, leader line, things like that. Then I put some stick-on or stick-on uh, deck padding, or I think this is called conceal, just to keep the noise down when you put it under there. On both sides of the seat. There's a little webbed uh, side pocket. I've got a solar 20,000 amp hour charger in there to be able to charge my cell phone while I'm out on the river. Uh, both sides, there's a drink holder that is cut out to be able to drain water if you take water. Flush mount rod holders on both sides. The rear tank well is huge. I just moved my crate from my tournament boat over here, but you could easily put a smaller crate, which I will probably do for the river. And then a small cooler in front of it. Plenty of room for that. There's a paddle clip on the side to hold your paddle. I'm running a Carlisle Magic Angler paddle. 
That's a 240 centimeter. Right back here, you can see where the retro, rudder would be retrofitted. I'm not putting rudder on this, but there's a solid handle right there uh, to be able to help carry it. There you can see a little bit of the hull design. This is a very, very, very stable boat, whether it's on the river or in flat water. There's a front facing rod holder up here in the front, on the front right hand side of the boat. If you're trying to retire, you just caught one and you're messing with the fish, you can just throw your rod in there real quick. That's what I like to use that for. That's on several models of the Sportsman. You never want to hit the river without a good PFD. I use the Old Town Lure Angler PFD. You can be happier with it, I've been running it for a couple seasons. Also there in the front next to the hatch, you'll see there's some cutout areas. You can lay a rod there like that. Keeps it in that little groove. You can even position a rod that way in that little groove uh, horizontally. There you have it guys, the Sportsman 120, what I think is the best kayak for flowing the river. Let me know what you think in the comments. As always, thanks everybody for watching.